Hi, everyone. My name is Lara Nicosia, and I'm the Outreach Librarian for History and Religion and Classics at the University of Rochester. Now, I'm still fairly new to U of R, and between you and me, when I first started, I found the stacks a bit overwhelming to navigate. So I wanted to make this quick video to give you the inside scoop on how to find a book in the Reese stacks. Now, today we have an extra fun challenge because it is August 2020 and I am not currently in Rush Reese Library. So I have to get a little creative with how I'm going to show this to you, but don't worry, we're going to get through it. So when you've identified a book in our catalog that is available um, on the shelf and in the Reese stacks, you want to take note of the call number. I'm going to head over to our Rush Reese call number directory. You can find this online or it is located throughout the building. You need this for two pieces of information. The first thing that you need is the level or the floor that the item is on. So here, if I look at D, I can see that that's located on level A. Okay. The second piece of information though that I need is the color. So here you can see these books are located on blue levels, and then my book is located on a yellow level. This can be the most confusing part of navigating the stacks. One thing I find that helps to conceptualize this is if you understand a little bit of the history of the building. So if I look at a picture of the building from Google Maps, you can see I've outlined this area in blue. This is all the pieces for the most part that were part of the original building. Okay, so all of this back here is an addition after the fact. This is a picture from our university archives that I think helps visualize that a little bit. Um, you could see this is the front half. This is where you have the lobby where you come in, that big periodical reading room, all of that. And then we have the tower here with nothing wrapping around it. Okay. Then in 1970, they added this addition, which you can see here I've outlined in yellow. Um, this picture from the archives also shows that. It kind of wraps around the tower. And the reason this is important is because items that are in those blue floor numbers, the blue stacks, are part of this big tower. Items in the yellow portion are part of this wraparound. And basically, because this is an addition, each set or part of the building has its own elevator and stairs. So you basically need to know, are you looking for things in this original tower or are you looking for things in this new addition that was added again around 1970 or so? So how do you know how to get to the appropriate elevator? The easiest thing to do is to always start looking for a book right near the Q&I desk. If you go in the entrance to the stacks, just to the right of the Q&I desk, you're going to see on the floor some tape. And the tape is either going to lead you directly to the blue elevator, which will take you up and down that tower, or it's going to lead you to the yellow elevator, which will take you up or down um, for the new addition to the building. So here I would follow the yellow tape along. Um, I would take the elevator down to the A level. And when I get there, I'm going to see rows and rows of shelves. Uh, this picture is actually not from the A level, but it's the same idea. Um, basically, you can see here that each aisle at the end has call numbers listed on it. They're going to keep sequencing up first by the numbers and then by the letters as I walk down the hall. Um, and when I find the appropriate aisle, I'm going to head down, start looking at the call numbers on the books until I find that book that I need. Now, the reason I mentioned that books are grouped by subject is the awesome thing about the way our books are organized is if the book you find is on your subject and on your topic, chances are its neighbors might be on your topic too. So don't just pull that one book. Make sure you take a moment to browse the books nearby, find what looks interesting to you, take everything back up to Lamb Square to check out those items, and you can bring them home and pat yourself on the back for successfully finding a book in the Reese Stacks.